Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome to I'm Pinky and I'm Not Ashamed. And anyone who joined me live last week would be aware that the last time I went for a walk, I got swooped big time by a magpie. So I've been thinking all week, what can I do to make sure I don't get swooped again? I checked out some videos on YouTube and, you know, it's a lot of people who ride bikes. So they, you know, talk about putting cable ties on their helmets and, you know, putting eyes on the back of their helmets and stuff. And I was like, yeah, but I'm not on a bike. <clears throat> so anyway, I've been thinking all week, how can I walk around safely? Because I like to think I now know <laughs> where all the nests are, but um, I proved last week that I don't. So I was thinking, how can I protect myself? So I was like, mm-hmm, I know, an umbrella. So I was like, yeah, I don't even care if it's hot. It's supposed to be really hot, and it is hot in Australia these few days. But as you, you'll be able to see when we go out there, it's still quite cloudy. But I thought, you know what, I don't even care. Even if it's hot, uh, yeah, even if it's hot, not raining, <laughs> I'm going to walk with an umbrella. Then I actually remembered I had a summer umbrella. So I thought, mm, I'll just take whichever one's biggest. And I actually think I'll turn it around. Hang on. Hey, 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 so whoever's joined. Um, look, so I think that is... Hi, Time Chaser, how are you? I think that is definitely bigger than that, right? And it is more summery, so <laughs> probably will look a bit more normal. And, um, but not that I care because I just don't want to get hit by a magpie. But then I did notice when I opened it, yes, it's not only bigger, but look, it's got a pointy thing on the top. Now that's going to project me a bit on. But anyway, the other thing I've decided to use, right, you have to admit, I think it's a little bit funny. I decided, obviously I have to take some water on this walk, it's hot. But I actually, instead of just holding it, I thought, you know what? If I put it in a backpack, put some blankets and like a beanie and that to soften it up in a backpack. Guess what? Dun, 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 dun. I now... <laughs> technically have some protection on my back if I get swooped by a magpie. Like, seriously, I'll show you. In the... <laughs> dun, 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 right? So if the magpie actually decides, no, it does not care about my umbrella. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for joining and liking my stream. All right. Anyone who's just joined... I've decided I think I've managed to magpie sweep proof myself. So, as you can see, look, umbrella protecting me. And if they accidentally sweep under the umbrella, which I doubt, but still, my back is protected. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking, hmm, if this seriously does not work and keep me... All right, so as you can see... Umbrella, backpack. So from the back, if I get sweeped, I, hi Dinka Mozzie, how are you? So as you can see, if I get sweeped, I should be fully protected from the back. Yeah, I know. I actually did think of the whole bike helmet cable ties. But, and even though I'm not riding a bike, I actually still would have worn it. Now I can't get this down. Uh -huh. But I actually think I'm cleverer. Hang on. I actually think I'm cleverer thinking of this umbrella. Because then I don't have to be walking around. <laughs> walking with a bike helmet with cable ties. Which, not even because it would look silly. Because let's be honest, anyone in Australia doing that, anyone would understand. <laughs> Dream made pipe. But I have had this pink parasol for mm, 10 years now and I've never used it. So there you go. There you go. But you know, I don't even know if it would actually be sturdy enough to stop a made pie. Let's be honest. But I'm hoping the pointy thing at the top <laughs> will. Okay, sorry guys, I 
I always seem to drop out in front of that house, but not for that many houses. So sorry about that. <laughs> to those who didn't go away, thank you. All right, there you go. So even with my magpie protection, I'm not being that brave. I'm deliberately going down this street because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, sure there's no magpies. <laughs> Thanks for liking this stream, guys. Obviously, remember to say hello to each other. Sorry. I hate when the chats go down. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, Tinker Mozzie. I did not actually think about that headwind. Um, oh, wow. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that tiny, so um, I, should be, <laughs> I should be okay. You know what, though? If we get a big wind, maybe the magpies won't want to stop. Won't want to get out of their nest and sweep anyone. Hmm. I'm definitely more alert now <laughs> after last week because not only did I get sweeped last week, I did notice when I rewatched the videos, um, there was a couple of times where you could see magpies flying in the background. So I think. <laughs> I was quite lucky I didn't get a speech more. Well, four people have joined. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm also hoping that, <laughs> puffed out already, that because um, it's 5 p.m. here, that maybe the magpies will be having tea too. <laughs> and they won't be out sweeping people. <laughs> I'm actually feeling quite protected. I did not see any YouTube videos using this as a um, idea that would uh, protect you. I'm going to take a deep breath. There was quite a lot of anxiety for me coming out <laughs> after being sweeped. Because, yeah, anyone that knows me knows full well that I'm scared of birds anyway. Um, <laughs> let alone a magpie. Hi, Raymond. How are you? <laughs> Water jug three. The thing is, do you actually think? Sorry, guys, accidentally pressed button. Anyway, do you guys actually think that the magpie population is getting worse and worse? Because I feel like it is. And I wonder if it's because all these lovely Australians who have discovered that. Um, <laughs> If they feed the magpies near them, the magpies become their friends. Don't realise that um, it can make magpies aggressive to like everyone else and other birds around them because it becomes like their food source. So in that area, they become even more vicious to everyone else. But I definitely feel like everyone feeding them and all that, they're just, yeah, getting out of control. Like they've always been around, but it's like the flies, sorry. I lost your chat and I'm, bit, I'm stopping before I press any buttons so I don't accidentally see that's what keeps happening um so I've got six people watching you guys are amazing I don't know how to keep your live chat up hi dark wolf Dan how are you I <laughs> formed a treaty of some type you know what that wouldn't surprise me so we've just learned really recently that crows are like the smartest seven-year-old kids and now everyone's like, yeah, well, magpies remember you for seven years and stuff, you know. <laughs> so it actually wouldn't sur surprise me if they were clever enough to call the trees. Sorry, flies are freaking me out. <laughs> wow, six people. Okay. Wow, so great to see you guys in here. Obviously, remember to say hello to each other, check out each other's channels. Um, that's always a nice thing to do. Yep, M Monday is a public holiday and I only had to work an hour this morning and it's Friday. And um, so for me, I've got like four days off. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Not that I can really say um, <clears throat> I have like this huge working career where I need like four days off. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy them anyway. <sighs> okay, now... <clears throat> The last time I went for a walk, I was like, yeah, yeah. I know where all the magpie nests are. And I really didn't look around for trees. And I feel like this is one of those places that I've walked along and thought, mm, 
it's fine. <laughs> it really might not be. Here's, <clears throat> I'll show you. Hang on. Oh no, see, I can't even like press the button to turn these around and have a look. Hang on. See, as you can see, just lots of trees. <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> not trusting any trees <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you know if the cables work because they're spiky and stuff I really am hoping that spike thing at the top of my umbrella is enough for them to be like nah like I said oh, I'm getting quite thirsty luckily I bought that drink in my protective <laughs> like I said I definitely had to bring a bottle of water but I would have actually just carried it until I thought about the backpack being extra protection and then thought about adding blankets, which I did, and getting the extra protection. Because <laughs> I tell you what, a few times I've been swooped, the only time they've like hit me is when I was wearing a bike helmet, but I still felt the pressure was like, dush. So I can only imagine if one actually hit me, <laughs> how bad that would be. Oh, okay. So I feel like I have definitely created number one, no, not magpies, just normal birds. <laughs> Time chaser, thanks heaps for staying and chatting. 3.36 a.m. in Florida, wow. So cool to have someone from Florida, America in my chat anyway. That's amazing. So glad you um, are having a late night. <laughs> I always figure I miss getting, um, my American friends in my chats, of course, because you are all asleep now at the moment. So that's so great. Oh, yeah, sorry if I've missed anything. The flies. And then I'm going to go to press it to get your chat back up. I've lost you a few times, so I don't know what that's about. <laughs> and because I'm feeling <laughs> a bit more on high alert, it's like, yeah, I need to stop for a drink. All right, I reckon I'd have to be fine just standing. <laughs> so five people are still in here, three likes. Okay, for those that don't know me or haven't thought about it, can you just please um, hit the like button? I'm an egomaniac, so <laughs> I like that. And I must admit, when I join live streams, it's the first thing I do. That is because I drink fizzy water and it's shaken up in that bag. But that is lovely and cool. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. You're having a wild turkey. That's very cool, Dean Kamozzi. So I'm guessing you don't have to work Monday either. After this walk, I'm going home for my first wine, I must admit. But it's so hot today, there's no way. I was having a wine early because I don't want to faint in the heat. All the flies. <laughs> All right, hang on. Oh, messages are visible. I just don't know why they don't keep messages up. All right. <laughs> right, a big pink mushroom walking down the street. You know what? <laughs> I think that's what everyone's going to think, aren't they? <laughs> I always joke with my pink hair and that, like, oh yeah, you wouldn't leave me in a crowd. But I'm feeling that fully right now that <laughs> if I accidentally wandered off in the bush, it'd be pretty easy to spot by a helicopter, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh, my pink bag pretty much glows. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hang on, I'm going here. Just oops, slightly dry that little bit of wood. I don't want to push this out again. Alright. <clears throat> oh wow, Dink and Mozzie. I, I would imagine it's really hot in Darwin at the moment. So T Weeks waking up there. Wow. That would be hard. You would really, really deserve. Four days off. Not like me, like, only because, like, I um, work in a crèche and um, I'm a swim teacher, so <laughs> I cannot say my job's hard. It's total fun. I absolutely love my job. 
We don't, and the big bugs. <laughs> but <laughs> we need to at least stop going to work. Wow, five likes. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me. Okay, so now uh, I'm actually coming up. I can't believe some of you have stayed chatting with me for so long. Thank you. Keeping me calm, keeping me calm. Build up has started early. Yeah, do you know what? Even though it's spring, I feel like even here, oh, bloody flies. <laughs> Anyone who is watching that is not Australian. And they talk about the flies in Australia. <laughs> now you see what they mean. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. I'll get your chat back up, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so we sort of went from really cold and then it just went really hot instant as well. So it is feeling quite humid. It never used to be a humid anymore. Like, it used to be like more a dry heat, but... Oh. oh, now I'm out on the road, as you can see. <laughs> but the thing is, I said to my husband, that because like I posted the video of me getting sweet on my Facebook page and you know it was quite funny so a lot of people did watch at least the part where I got sweet there's actually quite a few people in Wyla who would be who would actually drive past and be like ah, totally understand why um the girl's got her umbrella out because uh, yeah she doesn't want to get sweet oh my goodness hang on would be like, hey, <laughs> all right, stop talk, talking. <laughs> hey, J Dog, how are ya? <laughs> yeah. Just talking about C's house. All right, how are you? Thanks for joining. So great to see you. Like I said, remember to say hello to each other. Oh, I was so worried about going live at this time being 5 p.m. but thinking yeah I seriously did think well at least the magpies might be in the next thing oh there's a big magpie up there well, I guess they're all big all right do 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 so <clears throat> for those who watched last week you'll see that bush over there that's where I got sweep last time obviously there's no one going over there but there is where that girl got sweet last time. But I still think with just those little things, I've got more chance than going where I've already been sweet. All right, so it's a bit like dun 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 dun. All right. Yeah, it's been a long time, J Dog. Um, it's been um, <laughs> one of those weeks and also I had started to at least try and get in the habit of going live while I went for a walk and then got sweep last week by a magpie. So <laughs> I've been totally put, on, put off doing it again until I thought dun, 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 umbrella. <laughs> umbrella with a spike on top. So, so far so good. But I don't believe I've ever been sweet. I've seen my pies myself in this bit. So hopefully last week when that girl got sweet, they were the same my pies from over there. I might just sort of put it <gasps> just a starling. I guess would there be my pies in there? No, surely not. It's so hot and starting to sweat. Hmm. No, I still think. Oh, okay, maybe I'll just <laughs> not put it to the side. <laughs> so, look what I know where the magpies are. <laughs> just have it covering me for them. Because no matter what, they do like to scoop from the back, I guess. <laughs> I think being right next to the bushes, because they sweep you, I think, when they think, obviously, they can sweep you and not hit anything else. So. Surely. <laughs> okay. Got through the danger zone. Like I said, that's where I went last week and got sweeped. And I do feel good. 
You know, the thing is, we'll never actually know. It's not really a scientific proof that this umbrella is really working as my magpie protection unless I actually went and walked where I did last week. There's no way I'm that brave. That would probably make quite a good video. <laughs> but, hmm, maybe someone else might. Oh, yeah, I find someone else is brave. They can walk through there with this umbrella and see if a magpie still speaks or not. And then we'll know. Because like I said, in all the <coughs> magpie attack videos I searched, looked at, there was no one talking about using an umbrella for protection. Just these um, <laughs> cable ties on a bike helmet. And yeah, I did seriously consider going to the bike shop and seeing if there was a pink helmet there because, you know, <laughs> I'm pinky and I'm not ashamed. But I feel like my parasol does look a lot cooler. Maybe not to anyone else, but... Yeah. Oh, excellent. Before you're out of their zone. <laughs> wow, six likes. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, for liking. Thanks to everyone who has been sticking with me through my fear walk. <laughs> so I guess it's like getting back on the horse after you've fallen off. I have now gone for a walk after being swooped by magpie. Years ago, after getting sweeped by a magpie on a bike down there, I never ever went on a bike again. There was just no way. No way. <laughs> right, no. All right, so now, just at the bush bit. <laughs> now, I've always felt really, 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 really confident walking around here. But, um, and I did say the other week, I'm less. I'm less scared of snakes than I am freaking magpies, but I wonder if there's like heaps of tall bushes, so they could be magpies. Like I said, I've never seen, oh, I don't know. Whew. Hmm. Maybe. Bloody flies. That is the only problem with the Australian bush. So those who don't normally see where I'm walking, this is the bush bit. Yes, you're right, Raymond. It will probably be over by November, but then we'll have all the heat. And now it's like, hmm. See, I don't want to walk that path because of snakes. And never mind walking this path because, like, you know, snakes do tend to, like, run away and stuff. They don't like hurting people. But now, with all this open area, am I putting myself at risk of a magpie? Oh, the conundrum. That's even the word. Look, so look, there's... <laughs> flown birds, but, you know, that could be any type of bird. Oh, now there's two. But there's lots of cockatoos in this area. Oh, so they... Getting ready to swoop. Are they completely different birds? <laughs> Do they even care about this area? Are they only trying to protect over there. <laughs> wow. I get called triple zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? The sun does look quite pinkish tonight, doesn't it? In this sunlight. Hmm. See, I'm thinking, even though I started this walk at about five, and hope, hoping it was my pro tea time, it's now nearly 5.30, so they might be finished. I don't know. Hmm. I've never been scared of snakes before, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Still just want to stick to the actual tracks, the big tracks that I've walked on for like 30 years of my life. <sighs> Though, oh, 
really am a scaredy cat, right? Because now I've just remembered about all the kangaroos and emus that now come into town and it's hot and it's, would it be around this time? Sunset. All right, so next Friday when I go for a walk, I'm definitely coming out earlier. <laughs> all right. I feel good that I have conquered my fear of going for a walk though. <laughs> I haven't seen too many birds flying from tree to tree, so you know what? No, that was a cockatoo that I'm going to walk back. But, except for actually walking in the exact place I got sweeped, which would be obviously really brave. I feel pretty brave that I've done this. Oh. So, to everyone who joined, it's probably quite a boring chat. Hey, sorry, because I haven't even been watching you guys chatting. Because I've been so oh, on point. But you know what? I've done it. There's no magpies. <laughs> All right. I've done it. So thanks for staying. <laughs> and thanks for the seven likes. That is so great for my ego. I do find it really amusing, though, that because I got sweeped by a magpie last week, um, that so many people... <laughs> wanted to um, watch my misfortune. I feel, I think, I didn't actually do it. The last time I looked, I think I had 15 hours of views on that video and I don't believe I've had any video <laughs> get 15 hours of views. So it's like, thanks world, especially close family and friends, <laughs> that for all the videos I've posted, trying to get you all to watch my videos, so the one that you all really did want to watch <laughs> was me getting attacked. And it was actually quite amusing that even some of my um, swim parents um, <laughs> yelled out and a um, few comments and stuff. And I was like, I didn't even know you knew I had a YouTube channel and I certainly didn't know you were watching. So, <laughs> but great to know you uh, were happy <laughs> to watch me get attacked by my part. Well, not attacked, sweet. Sweet, I should say. Oh, hello, Christy. How are you? So great to see you. Do you know what? You posted a comment saying about oh, if I went live and you could go live with me. I actually don't know how to do that. I think I have to be able to send you some email or something. So I am going to look into how to do that because I would absolutely love to be able to add you and have you chatting with me live while I went live. That would be absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I don't... I did see, oh, okay, no, just a little starling. Oh. So how have you been? I know you've been sick. <laughs> Bit funny. <laughs> the police just went past really slowly. <laughs> so anyone that has, oh, no, stop it. <laughs> you had to go to see me get sweeped again. Do you know what? <laughs> So if anyone watching that doesn't have me on um, Facebook, I did do a little post saying, yeah, I'm going out, hopefully protected by magpies sort of thing, in the hope that <laughs> the same people, <laughs> not Christy, because you watch everything, but the same people that wanted to watch me, get, or <laughs> who wanted to watch me get sweep last week, would come back just to see if I got sweep this week. Because I tell you what, 15 hours of viewing minutes on a video is like, woohoo! <laughs> So, whatever it takes, really. <laughs> but like I said, what I really should be brave to do is go and walk the exact same way <laughs> that I walked last week where I got sweeped and see if this really did work. But I can't do it. <sighs> Hang on. Sorry. Keep losing your live chat. Hi, Paul. How are you? Thanks for joining. So great to see you here. Um, yeah, keep forgetting to say like, obviously you'll we'll say hello to each other. Yeah, my favourite stalker. <laughs> Thank goodness I've got friends like you. It's amazing what you do. Like seriously, what you have done for my, like watching all my videos and stuff. It's made a huge difference. So <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I actually had a, um, someone I don't know very well, but sort of three weeks, she said to me, oh yeah, because I was going to watch on YouTube, she goes, but I don't want to be a stalker. 
And I was like, oh, what do you mean? She goes, you know, like, I don't want to be a stalker. And I was like, no, but for YouTube, you need stalkers. <laughs> I want you to stalk me. It's like, I need the viewing minutes. So I thought it was a bit cute that, no, she didn't want to be a stalker. I was like, no, I need stalkers. All right. Even with that drink of water, obviously, I'm oh, it's boiling out here. Even though the sun's not out and it's five o'clock, it is hot, 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 hot. So I must admit, even after make pie season, I think I'm still going to use this carousel because it is really keeping the sun off me. I'm loving it. Eight likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks so much for that. So, yes, um, for those who watched this just to see me get sweeped, um, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> but... <laughs> Look, I'm even scared of dogs barking. How pathetic. Anyway, um, but yeah, I do not know if it was my umbrella or, uh, yeah, they just went around. So I think I'm going to put it down to the umbrella. Cause there are a lot of birds around, a lot. None of them are flying near me. See, that's hilarious. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there are birds everywhere, I'm telling you. <laughs> maybe it's not just the crows and um, magpies talking. Maybe they're all learning to talk. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, yeah, so hot. <sighs> it is seriously so amazing that even after a week, I'm not really being on YouTube and not going live and stuff. Oh! Yeah. Okay, not a magpie, but it certainly is a big bird. <laughs> yeah, mate. Well, because there was that thought in my mind, what if <laughs> magpies are attracted to pink? <laughs> then I would have been really stuffed. I'm not. All right, but I've broken my fear. I've gotten back on the horse. I've managed to safely Go for a walk in a world full of magpies. Oh, that was amazing. Wow. And I got eight likes. <laughs> so I really need to be keep, I really need to keep walking, keeping up my fitness. And like I said, when I started walking and talking, it's just so much better when people come and chat and say hello. What do you see when you see an emu? Okay, Dinkum Aussie, truth. A few years ago, I was with a friend and she didn't really understand that I had a, like a serious bird phobia. And I'm, I tend to be quite like a really nice person. <laughs> Unless I like feel anxious or having a panic attack or something, then I'm just like, yeah, fight or flight. So <laughs> she said there was some emus out there and she pointed to them and I'm not gonna lie, they, they weren't that close, like, you know, down the street far. <laughs> But as soon as I saw him, I was like, we need to run. And she's like, no, 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 we'll just go this way. It was too late. I was already running in the opposite direction. And I just did not stop. And I don't run. She's trying to stop me and she reckons that at one point I was just like, I, like, I said something, I can't remember where for where, but pretty much something like I would throw her under the emu and keep running, you know, like it was either run with me or I'd let an emu attack her pretty much. <laughs> it was just, she knew I was serious. And um, but yeah, luckily she found it very, very, very funny. She had never seen me be like that before, but I was just like, no, I had to make you understand. <laughs> <laughs> that there was no stopping me once I saw an emu. No way. So, so <laughs> you know that show, um, what is it called? Um, My Name is Earl. Well, his brother is actually really scared of um, birds as well. And there's an episode where they go out to an animal farm <laughs> and he sees like an ostrich and he pretty much stops, sees this ostrich and he's like, hmm. I'm just going to lay down and die. And he literally goes down slowly, lays down on the ground, curls into a ball. Chrissy, <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? Crawls into a ball and then 
he just sees little girls walking past and he's like, help, <laughs> help, help. I literally saw that episode, I don't know, 15 years ago, like years ago. <laughs> But I've never forgotten it. So I've always said to people, I'm that scared of birds. I'm I'm exactly like him. <laughs> Where I'll just be like, I'm just gonna lay down here and die. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to run if it was that close. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Thanks for joining me live. Um Oh, you seen it too, Ozzy. It was seriously, yeah. I've just never forgotten that bit. I just thought, yeah, that would have been me. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining. Thanks, everyone who's hit the like button. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button. Always makes me feel good. Um, everyone likes to see these um, likes. <laughs> Not just me, but uh, maybe I'm one of the only ones who... People who actually admit how much I love it. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? I wouldn't even care. <laughs> like, even, how exciting. For those that join late, the parasol protection unit thing. My pipe protection unit. That's what I can call it. I actually had this on it. How exciting. It was just like, you know what? Even if a magpie actually swoops me. It's probably not going to do it again. That's going to hurt. <laughs> and I must admit, when I go walking, I am scared of dogs. So I did think, to, I do usually walk with a hiking stick. <clears throat> Anyone who watched me live last week will see that, um, probably thanks to that hiking stick. Um, <laughs> I do believe that saved me from getting sweeped really badly. <laughs> but now, after seeing... That this is like this is like I don't need my hiking stick. This will keep like this just stray dogs away, won't it? So yes, it's an all rounder. <laughs> Keeps off the sun. I seriously bought this parasol ten years ago for twenty dollars. Never ever used it. Now I think it's the best thing ever. So thank goodness. That's why it must be intimidating. I know, right? But it intimidate me. <laughs> Oh gosh. So I cannot believe that I've actually been walking and talking for 38 minutes about magpies and birds. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tinker Mozzie. I so appreciate you. Thanks for um, watching my videos and stuff. It's um, quite, you've been actually quite exciting to have somebody from my world actually find my channel and stuff and um, have people in common. I actually think that's really cool. So yes, thanks heaps for joining and watching and obviously hitting the like button. Um, it's been really great to meet you. Um, yeah, everyone say hello to each other that's in my stream because people that come to my stream are all friends. I tend to um, like put like time into the people I meet on um, YouTube. So I have sort of less friends than others maybe, but definitely try and keep them real. So if you see people in my streams or commenting on my videos, um, they are real YouTubers that p produce great stuff. Like, so they're all worth um, going and checking out. I can't, yeah. 39 minutes I've been live. And some of you have been here with me from the beginning. That's amazing. You guys are all amazing. Now the snakes come out of hibernation. I know, right, Raymond? But I do like to think I'm not as scared of snakes. You just don't want to be like stepping on one. But ultimately they, you know, do you leave you alone. I'm really lucky my husband is not scared of snakes at all. So he'll happily, if there's a lizard or a snake, he'll just, you know, put them out bush. He's, um, yeah. <laughs> Chrissy, you are so amazing. I so love seeing you in my streams. And like I said, all the support you have given me, like all the viewing minutes has made such a difference, such a difference. It's um, really helped make me feel a bit more positive too the last few months because you know what? We all put a lot of work into our videos. Even the video I made today um, was like just a simple two minute video, but it still took me two hours of editing. And I don't even produce that greater videos so I can only imagine like if I really knew what I was doing how um long these videos would take me so it's like yeah they take a lot of effort <clears throat> so when I pe see people's other videos and I'm like yeah I really love your editing I really mean it because <laughs> I know how hard it is 
I'm gonna have to, I'm just out of the front of my house, but I'm gonna have a drink. <sighs> the reason I'm not going inside is it'll be really dark and I want to cool down before I went inside. And plus, when I stopped here, I thought, oh, I was about to say goodbye and then people joined. <laughs> Hello, SK, how are you? So, of course, I don't want to be rude and say goodbye. <sighs> For people that hate water, I tell you, you should drink sparkling water. It's like having a fizzy drink, but not a fizzy drink. Ah, refreshing. <laughs> wow. Wow, nine likes, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for everyone who, who has joined. I'm, um... As all us Aussies know, we've got four days off. Well, not everyone got four days off. It's public holiday on Monday. So, um, and I only had to work for an hour today. So I'm really looking forward to a four day weekend. So I um, will be having my first wine soon. <laughs> I'm sure many of Australians will be um, having their first drinks for the weekend tonight. Need vodka. Do you know what? I don't mind vodka. I like, um, you know, vodka and like, a, like lemon, lime and bitters with vodka, that's really refreshing. But I tend to not drink spirits and stuff at home because I figure it's strong. <laughs> I don't need to be drinking spirits. Where wine, I feel like I can just have a little bit. But yeah, if I go out or in the summer and stuff, I don't mind the odd vodka, lemon, lime and bitters. It's pretty nice. Nice and refreshing. Wine's not exactly refreshing in the summer. <sighs> Wow, so many people have joined. I can't believe so many people are still here. You guys are amazing. It is really like, I don't know if I'm one of the only people that admit it. Quite an ego beast when you can actually just go live and, you know, people join because when you're trying to catch up with everyone's videos all the time, you run out of time. So this is a great way to see everyone together. So seeing all your names, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, Chrissy, like I said, I have to work out how I can get you to join me live. So then we can be live and having a drink and it would be almost like we were together <laughs> in real life. That would be cool. Very cool. I have seen people do it and I have joined other people's lives, but I can't remember if they sent me an email. I feel like they sent me an email and yeah, maybe it was for an app. Like I said, I'm going to have to check it out. I haven't even made you a mod. All right. Sorry, Chrissy, because I actually thought you were a mod. Okay. All right, now I've cooled down. I'm going to be going inside. I feel like, yes, maybe 43 minutes of talking is pushing it. So, do you know, I actually do see people do live chats and um, literally don't talk about anything. But they'll have like four or 500 people. <laughs> in their chat chatting <laughs> and they're not like even chatting <laughs> google live is what people use but is no longer supported ah oh, thanks for that dinkum mm, summer you know what but people like i was actually in someone's live stream i'm sure he had people at it there must be someone clever that knows how to do it might have to be just the next thing i research <laughs> But anyone who has a YouTube channel will be able to tell you. All right, I'm going to get this down. So there is just so much to learn on YouTube and it's literally impossible to learn all at once. But it's so one thing at a time. I've only just learned how to make people moderators. The new one, I'll let you know. Oh, that would be amazing, Dinkum. Because <laughs> I should be able to learn how to do it with an app. I've managed to learn how to do everything else. So I'm not managing to be able to <laughs> put down my parasol. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. And he goes, don't they say it's unlucky? Okay. So. At the start of this video, it was all about my magpie protection and would I survive a walk or would I get swooped? Now, the jury is still out, 
for me, whether it was my protection that protected me, the, or it was just the time I walked, or, <laughs> or the fact, <laughs> or the fact that I didn't go the exact same way I went last time. So I might have to make a video with somebody else <laughs> um, doing that for me. So yeah, but either way, I did make it home safe and sound, and. Um, that to me is amazing. So now I know I can walk again. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to go now though because I definitely need to eat tea and I'm sure 45 minutes of listening to me talk is enough for anyone. Thanks everyone for joining though. I love you all, you are amazing. Thanks for all the likes and uh, <laughs> thanks. Um, remember to say hello to each other like I said. And like I said, yeah. Thanks all for joining and saying hello and watching. And over the next four days, I'll definitely come past and check out your videos as well. Mwah. Bye for now.